Milan and we are in the Elio ETC Center and I just presented Steel Moving. Yes, could you tell us a little bit more about what is uh, Steel Mobile? Well, Steel Mobile is a bit of a group show. Um, it's a collaboration with 45 different artists and I've asked each artist in South America to make a dance piece, mm -hmm. a, a brand new production, a brand new dance piece that can only be viewed through one single image. Uh, and these are the 45 oh. images. Uh, I was interested to find uh, a new approach mm. in regard of how to document the dance piece. And I was thinking, what about if that process of documenting dance piece could actually be a creative process of uh, making a new a new dance piece mm -hmm. and uh, using the criteria, the system, the instruction, uh, the choreographic elements mm -hmm. to actually uh, build the image, to choreograph the image. And the choice of Cypher America, it was a very uh, organic choice. Mm -hmm. I was in residency here in Rio at the Panorama Festival and I met uh, Natasha. Uh, and members of La Red Sud Americana. Natasha Mello. Na yeah. Natasha Mello. And member of uh, La the Net, yeah. uh, La Sud Americana. Yeah. And, and it, it basically, I got in contact with uh, a network of artists, uh, which they were all collaborating and in, in correspondence with each other. Um, and, and they really helped me to hook up. With, with, a, with a bunch and make this work happen. One important element about the project was all the process behind, all the research behind. Yeah. And each of these images came out uh, from a workshop which I uh, I, I organize in every city in South America, in every country in South America that I've been. And uh, during this uh, process, we were uh, experimenting different ways of selecting. Because I was really thinking about uh, a choreographic is, a choreography is a, a set of decisions, mm -hmm. a selections of different movement, different gestures, different body position, mm -hmm. and that selection, that appropriation, that uh, specific uh, element of selecting is, is was really important. Mm -hmm. um, so I devised these exercises where each artist were asked to select material. Mm -hmm. And then we work with these ingredients to build uh, each single image. So in a way I found um, this uh, project differentiated from other projects I did in the past. Mm -hmm. I, was, uh, I, I was really thinking that was working, yes, with an artist, but also with all this system of methodology that each choreographer carries with them, with themselves. Uh, one of the most difficult uh, part was really connecting with each single artist and, and connecting uh, really uh, build a sense of trustiness but also really try to uh, connect uh, behind the different languages that we speak or the different culture that we belong. Um, so at some point even if I'm just a photographer I, uh, or I use photography as my, my tool, I felt the necessity of understanding the language, asking them to use my body mm. uh, and to choreograph my body. So I and for them, them to grab the camera also uh, sometimes. Exactly, I asked them to kind of invert yeah. uh, the parts. So they were photographing my body and I was uh, being given uh, command or, or, or some sort of choreographic element that I, I was, uh, I was um, representing with my body. So yeah. it was a, a, a reversing reversing the functionalities yes. of the game. The project really started in 2008 um, when 
um, I had the first encounter uh, with, with South America and uh, with this incredible uh, group of artists uh, for a residency in, in Rio de Janeiro. Yes, yeah, so a collaboratorio. Um, is a um, it wasn't. It wasn't collaboratory. It was literally just a, a residence to uh -huh. experiment different way of documenting uh, dance work mm. or movement based work. Mm. And um, this particular exhibition is being premiered in Montevideo, but I have to say in a very different way. Um, yeah. Is, is a very organic exhibition with a lot of content. Yeah. Um, big format pictures, like photos. Would be, yeah. Quite large format yeah. images. Yeah. So um, I really think that every time we present the work, we have to uh, completely restructure the way that we want to deliver each single message. Um, in this particular occasion, we, we had uh, two rooms, so we yeah. kind of split the work into kind of working process, yeah. uh, all the exercises, and then the final images on, yeah. on, on the other. Well, one one of these one of the elements of of this uh, of the project of Steve Mobile is this concept of translation, translation uh, not just uh, of language but also with formats and mediums. So I was really interested to see how, for instance, a choreographer they were using drawing. So one exercise was about them drawing their own body, mm -hmm. um, or another exercise was. Uh, the relationship with video and I was asking them to perform for the camera thinking about their own portraits mm -hmm. and this is how the Trato project came along. Um, um, also verbalizing things. So yeah. kind of uh, the discursive body? The, the kind of the... Exactly, so thinking of uh, the relationship between movement and language. So every time they were making an action, uh, try to uh, define the action for a verb. Yeah. and then transform the verb into an image uh, using their own body yeah. and the camera. So there was all this idea of make, my, migrating from one format, from one medium to another medium, and I think at the same time distilling yeah. the, uh, the message and the idea and, and, and the particular aesthetic. One, one of the most amazing aspects of this project is really the, the diversity of yeah. input, of approaches and artists and cultures and yeah. languages. And I mean, if there is one thing personally that I'm really, really happy is that I, I really feel that I've been uh, contaminated mm. by, by all these different inputs. And in a way, I can see on the result, every single image has some, some completely different elements. Mm -hmm. And the first time I presented, actually, mm -hmm. in uh, Montevideo was more in a photographic contest. Mm -hmm. And pretty much every single person I spoke with, they were asking me about how many photographers were yeah. <laughs> uh, involved in the project. Because they re it, it does look like yeah. there are completely different aesthetic mixed up together. And uh, working with all these artists, we, we really try to put the medium uh, um, in in in, uh, in analysis, yeah. and and we were thinking, well, we we don't have just to make an image. We yeah. have a photograph here, yeah. so we also have an object, yeah. and we can uh, uh, twist the object. We can um, build montages. Mm -hmm. uh, we we yeah. can we can work with rephotographing the object. The object. Yeah. So we we really try to. Yeah. Uh, be experimental. But yeah, also, some of them even look like a notation. For example, this one looks like a f kind of a flow chart or a networked image. And you know, we have this ones. Yeah. So, I guess, sorry. I guess I guess it was really about um, building building uh, the ingredient through mm. the exercise. We understood. Uh, the, the, the selection, we understood mm. what was really important mm. uh, for the artist, which elements were really important and they had to be present in the image. But then uh, what, what we played with was 
build a, a bit of a dramaturgy, and this mm. is where the dance piece came mm. about. Mm -hmm. So we build the dramaturgy and we try to express it through, yeah. through the image. Yeah. So it's not just the photograph as a space, but it becomes a photograph as an object mm -hmm. that you can play, you can twist, mm -hmm. and you can re-represent in different ways. Local uh, symbolic element like the coca leaves. Mm -hmm. um, other work has got uh, a, a filmy fictional element. Mm -hmm. Something is more radical political. Um, some artists they they put a lot more emphasis on on, on gender and sexuality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, or the body directly. On, and, and so the, the, the so much meat and yeah. and I really think this is the uh, the strength of the project is the multiplicity of approaches yeah. and, and, and the diversity yeah. and and also the information yeah. I, I am uh, aware of of there is an impossibility yeah. uh, behind there is a, a, a conceptual undertake the yeah. father you know uh, ultimately you will never be able to represent properly <laughs> yes. a dance piece. So yeah. you know, we started with, yeah, yeah. with an impossible yeah. uh, task. That's what I call it, kind of contrived. Yeah, yeah <laughs> com completely contrived. But yeah. all those limitations yeah. that really yeah. helped, uh, helped us to, to, to build new formulas and, and, and to search uh, some sort of escape strategy yeah. uh, through, through, uh, yeah, through, through experimentation yeah. and, and, and try to kind of give different type of challenges you know like uh, allow the body to disappear in a piece where everything's about the body yeah. um, give a lot of space to uh, uh, the, uh, the contest um, and the, the size specificity yeah. of, of some of the images yeah. we also during the process mm -hmm. of creation we build uh, a website mm -hmm. and in the, on the website there is some content which is not present ah, okay. on the exhibition. Um, so in a way, uh, you know, that become another, another itinerant exhibition. Um, there was one exercise for instance was about um, definitions. Mm -hmm. So I asked every single artist that I collaborated with to give me the def personal definition mm. of presence, mm. of improvisation, and of choreography. So we have all this text, and I also asked each artist to give me some references. Mm. So uh, which work has been very influential uh, mm. for them? And we have all this collection of nice. influences and other artists, which they are could be very interesting. Um, I see an educational element behind mm. all this material. Um, so yeah, please uh, go on a quick look. Is uh, www.stillmobile.com, and people should contact you for uh, move it around. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Sure. Thank you so much. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, <laughs> we did it. Finally.